Hi everyone. I'm going to take you through a quick mobility workout. This is great for doing daily. I've been incorporating mobility into my daily routine, my morning routine, but you could do it at whatever time of day works for you. So let's go straight into our stretches. We are going to start in a cat cow position. So we're going to go on hands and knees and we're just going to let our back and our belly get a little bit warmed up. We're going to have hands wide, hips tilt up, chest lifts, and then we are going to push through the hands, use those core muscles to arch the back, tucking the tailbone under. We're just gonna do this a couple more times. You can go at your own pace. One more time after this. And then we're gonna do this again after we stretch. And I want you to notice if you feel any difference in your mobility through the back. Okay, so we are going to come into a kneeling position for a nice deep runner's lunge. You're going to um, focus on stretching the front of this hip flexor. Press into the knee. <sighs> Breathe through it. And we're gonna do some nice slow dynamic mobility. So we're going to straighten the leg. Bend forward, bringing nose toward your shin, toward your knee. If you're not as flexible, you might be up higher. Doesn't matter as long as you feel the stretch. And then rocking forward two more times. And we're going to take those toes up to the ceiling to deepen the stretch. And forward one more time on this side. and forward. So if you can, hands are gonna to come to the inside. This might be a deep enough stretch for you. If it is, stay right where you are. Otherwise, we're gonna come down to the elbows and we're gonna add some thoracic mobility. So that's the upper back. Um, so I like to take my hand behind my head, elbow coming toward my wrist, and then elbow pointing toward the ceiling. Bring it down and up and down. And up two more times here. Last one on this side. Good job, guys. Stretch it back, nose toward that shin one more time. And then we're going to release and switch to the other side. So nice deep runner's lunge again. Breathe into it. And again, focusing on the hip flexor of that back leg, lengthening that out. Doing wonderfully. And we're going to straighten that front knee, bring our nose to our shin. My hamstring on this side is a little bit sore, a little bit tight today. So I know I need this. <laughs> Breathe. And bring it forward. Lengthening the back and back. Toes can come up. Bring it forward and back. Last one, toes can come up and forward. So again, you can come onto the hands or down to the elbows. If you're on the hands, it's gonna look the same way for this next part as it does on the elbows. And you might be more flexible on one side than the other. If that's the case, it's fine. Don't worry about it. That is completely normal and it will balance out with time and practice. Okay, here we go. Bring it down and up, down and up down and up up last one good job come up stretch through it one more time and release we're going to come into a pigeon pose here so we're going to get some rotation through the hip front knee comes forward foot stays flexed and i like to walk that back knee back now you can come onto hands onto the hips like I am. If that's not comfortable, hands can stay down. If you're more flexible and balanced, arms can come up. 
breathe into it and then we're gonna come down and relax into pigeon pose. So here I like to think about, um, it could be natural to want to round through the back. So I like to think about making my spine long and then letting myself relax down to the mat. Breathe into it. And come up. This part is optional. You can bend that leg and grab it behind you. Stretching the quad, that's the front of the thigh. And then we're gonna release it down and switch sides. And you can spend longer in any of these stretches um, that feel good to you, that you feel like your body needs. Uh, you know, take as much time as you want and you have available to you. Breathe into it, and then we are coming forward. So again, if you naturally rounded, try and think about lengthening through the back and then releasing them. We're just gonna stay here for a couple breaths, not too long. Good job, come up. We're gonna take the other side if you want to. Bend that leg, grab it behind, stretching the quad. Breathe. And release. Coming into a 90-90 position. So both legs are making a 90 degree angle. Arms can reach out or even behind you. We're going to lean forward over it. Easier is to keep the hands down. Come up, switch sides, lean over it. Come up, switch sides. Switch. We're gonna do one more time each direction after this one. And one other side. Good job, guys. Breathe through it. Um, let's go back into our, we're gonna take our frog pose. We haven't gone into that yet. So not really back into it. Knees come out to the side. So if you need to turn your mat or use pillows or blankets or something under your knees to make it more comfortable, you can. Knees are wide. We're gonna come down onto the elbows. If you're a little less flexible, you might be up. That's fine too. Breathe. And we're gonna push those hips back just a little bit. You're gonna feel a groin stretch. Breathe through it. Release, two more times. Little stretch back. So we're trying to get nice deep breaths into our diaphragm, release. Last one. Good job, guys. Okay, back to hands and knees. Our left arm is gonna reach under our right arm, shoulder toward the floor, and we're gonna let ourselves twist here. Breathe through it. So getting a little bit of back mobility here. And other side. Unwind. Good job, guys. Let's do three cat cows, see if anything feels any looser. And it might, it might not. It's fine either way. Other direction. Last one. Good job, guys. We're gonna lay on our backs to finish up. So quick stretch here. 
one knee into the chest and then we're going to lift it toward the ceiling this helps take that back mobility out of the lower body flexibility hamstring flexibility and then we're going to bend the knee in bring it across the body looking in the opposite direction so getting some mobility for the lower back and release other side stretch it up hold there breathe through it and just don't yank on your knee um, you can hold your thigh you can hold your calf you can hold your foot if you can reach it bend and bring it across your body looking in the opposite direction and we're not forcing anything but we are letting gravity do the work of moving that knee the bent knee toward the ground and if it's not touching don't worry mine's not touching right now mobility will improve with time and practice so give yourself patience and don't force anything we don't want injuries we want to prevent injuries and keep ourselves moving and as, and pain free or as pain free as possible Good job, guys. And release. And that was a really quick 10 minute mobility. This is part one. I'm gonna do a part two if you have more time to get in a deeper stretch.